Hello. Over here. Been waiting for ya. I thought you said you had a super What's cool up? little buddy to show us. Where is it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, blood just came out. Did it just pop out of your tacit mark? Mm, smells good. So, is this how it first showed up when you guys were in the Norfolk Barrens? Yes, back then we... As I fought off those tacit discords, a burst of energy erupted from that statue. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you're gonna let me click. Because, like, it was going automatic. I wasn't, like, clicking on it. And I didn't want the automatic thing turned on. Two forces clashed and collided. <clears throat> and later, Not gonna one of them say anything about that. Vanquishing the other in a violent clash. Mm -hmm. General JN and Rover later told me one month that this ago. little it's thing great. coming out of Rover's body, it was blocking or even consuming the overflow of Thrinodian power. It reminded me of how Rover once absorbed frequency energy with her body in a similar fashion. So, we took her to the academy for a checkup with Baiju. Apparently, this little one is what we had detected before. It's a speculated space or organism hidden inside your body. Now we finally know. Mm. It shares similar frequencies with tacit discord's reverberations. It resembles an echo processed by the data bank, stored inside your body instead of a terminal. Makes sense. In other sense. words, it's your own echo, captured or absorbed at some point. Without you, it can't manifest. It doesn't mean my own echo. That's why Baiju couldn't confirm just how you absorbed that echo back then. Was it you? Was it the little one? Or maybe the two of you together. Okay. And Baija discovered more after analyzing your spectrums. She found a new power Spectrum? source within you. Okay. Similar to the crownless, but even stronger. This power comes from the tacit discord you defeated in Norfolk Barrens. I'm a Frenodian. That's crazy. So the excess energy this little thing had consumed somehow ended up in your body, available at your disposal. In other words, there is a deeper connection between the two of you. Or, according to Baiju, it's a convergent codependency. That's new. What does that mean? Uh, to put it simply, you are connected. Uh while you are two separate individuals your energies and vitals can affect each other for better or for worse you may even feel each other's emotions the bond oh. between you and this creature is symbiotic as it strengthens so do you however if one is harmed the other suffers fortunately since it can't ever leave your side it's not an easy target for attackers, and if they do strike, it can seek shelter inside your body for safety. I think I understand. Okay, now that's pretty much it. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. going to explain it to you herself, but she has to go check on a newly appeared Sonora Sphere in Zhao Zhou. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Uh, this is too much information for me to process. Let me get this straight. Mm. So, it helped Rover fight off mm. the Thrinodian? I don't want people hating Chisha Seriously? so much. Mm. This teeny tiny thing could do that? <laughs> Seems mm. unlikely. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Don't look down on me. You'll regret it when you learn what I'm capable of. That poker-faced researcher was absolutely shocked when she examined me. <laughs> Said I'm not just any echo. I'm a super duper cool one. Rarest of them all. <laughs> uh. That's all the Baiji I know. Yeah, no way 
Baija talks like that. She's more of a data dumb kind of person. Super duper cool? <laughs> nah, too extra for her. Okay, nice reference back to 1.0 yapping sessions. Seems like Baiji. you're trying to boost your ego a bit. Oh, actually, while those aren't Baija's exact words, that is... Why is Yang Yang killing them, but... Can we just make fun of the animal? She mentioned highly intelligent echoes that can act on their own in other countries. Said they are involved in every aspect of human life with unique abilities beyond our imagination. Those echoes are rare, though. Neither I nor Baiji, an eco acoustics expert, have ever seen one in person. But this little thing here. It could be one of those foreign echoes. Yeah, makes sense. Now we just gotta figure out where it came from. Who knows? We may find other cool echoes in that place. Seriously, behind all of this already? Well, both General Jian and Baija have confirmed it. No way they're lying. I'll admit the thought of someone else having an echo inside them sounds pretty crazy to me. But with you, anything's possible. You can absorb reverberations with just your hands, like the legend says. So maybe one day you just stumbled upon this little thing and soaked it up like a sponge. Sounds feasible, I guess. Yeah. So... Do you know where exactly she absorbed you? Huh? How am I supposed to know? Why don't you just ask her? Oh, she can ask. Sounds like I have the answer. Tusk, tusk. Don't take that tone with me. Why not? But even if echoes can have memories, they probably wouldn't remember things earlier than their first manifestation. I wonder if that's the case with this little one, too. Aha! Finally! Someone with common sense! That green-haired, serious guy asked me a similar question. Sorry to disappoint, but I really don't remember anything before I showed up. It was that time the first time? A normal Barrett? Mm, maybe... I was just sleeping inside her this whole time. So of course I don't remember. Sleeping? Seriously? It's been so long. All those happenings, all that fighting, and you didn't hear anything? Wow, that's... Your sleeping quality is really something. And to not stay awake all the time. Oh, please know there are things I don't want it to hear. So you've got privacy to be respected. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry. Your body sound insulation is amazing. You can dive into it, and everything goes. Plus, it's sound insulation. The only problem is, I never know when I'll wake up again. And when I do wake up, I get tired and hungry fast. So I have to crawl back in for more rest. I know. It's all because I'm not eating enough. That's why you kept disappearing. You went back to sleep from lack of energy. Makes sense. Regular echoes need to be powered by the terminal, too. Hmm. I thought you'd be really different from the usual ones we see. Turns out you share a lot in common. So you probably don't know your denomination or a nickname. No wonder everyone's been calling you the little one. Denomination? What's that? The universally agreed terms for special echoes, like names for humans. They're named based on their characteristics, abilities, and places of origin. My denomination. It's... It's... No, do I not have a name at all? Nope. What? No way. 
No, wait, that's not fair. If all the special echoes have names, how can I not have one? I don't want to be called the little one all the time. It doesn't sound cool at all. How about this? You help me come up with a name, and I will let you have some of the food. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that food, eh? There's nothing left. <laughs> I like this guy. Uh, next time. The cool next mascot. Time, I'll definitely say some for you. Just, uh, just give me a name. Please. That is kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. Can I choose or can I make it personal? Yes, I want it now. Look, your name's Chisha, your name's Yang Yang, and you, uh, your name is. Eh. Come on, bro. That sounds interesting. Wait, didn't you forget everything? How do you still remember? Just can with it. It's my new name now. With your old name and memories all gone. It's a good idea to go with a new one. It makes everything more convenient and represents a fresh start. Now, why would I not want to go back to my old memories, Yang Yang? Hmm? Do you know something that I don't? Yeah! Exactly like she said. Every one of you has a name, and I want one for myself, too. I'm really not asking much. I just want a name that sounds a little cool, a little special, and epic. And super smoking. Yeah, you having a name should make things easier. That's true. Let's see. You want a cool one. What about Echo the Invincible? What do you say? Which you here would say like actually something good, but then she says nah. that. Calling me the little one. Hey, it makes every difference in the world. I am Echo the Invincible. That's what a hero play character would say as their transformation call. Or, uh, or maybe since you can fly and you've got those long ears, why don't you call yourself a uh, Righteous Raptor or Valor Hawk, or, uh, Flying Fury? No. Absolutely no! Why do they all sound so ugh, cringy? Is that spelled cringy? I love it when people call me the Jinjo Speedster. Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> huh? <laughs> sure, if you say so. Anyway, they all sound like anything but my name. Absolutely no. What's blunt pondering? But you know, there's absolutely not that. What do you want? For example, I want to just call yourself Abby. Aha! I knew Rover would come up with a good... Wait. Why does it sound so random? It's just like... It's a random ass name. You didn't just pick two random syllables. Did you? Abby means joy. It's what, bring, it's what you bring to us. Is it because I've been saying absolutely no a lot? Uh. Hmm. What? Isn't that a nice name? Why is it suddenly so quiet? Is it not happy with the name? Why though? Can't think of anything better that's catchy, impactful, and clever all at once. Uh, Abby, Abra, Abraxas? Abraxas. What's wrong? What are you muttering about? Abra, what? Sounds like you're reading a spell. <laughs> For real? Uh, I don't know, but I just have this feeling that this is what my name should be. Okay, ready? Abby. I like the sound of that. <laughs> That's my name. I 
good. Of course I like it. You came up with it for me. I was just trying to get used to it. That's all. Besides, I feel attached to this name now. <laughs> My name is Abby. You will not call me the little one again. Sure, we won't. Got it. Well, that didn't work out. I was hoping we could get some answers from the little... I mean, from Abby. But now we're back at square one. I really thought we could figure out where Abby came from. It might not lead us to other special echoes, but it's at least a starting point to uncover Rover's past. Then we'll have something to do before asking Madam Magistrate and our Sentinel about it again. Maybe we can start with Abby's special abilities instead. Each special okay. echo has a unique ability. We can compare what Abby does with our records of other echoes to see where they came from. Besides, it was Abby's power that helped Rover defeat the Threnodian, I suppose. Why do you sound so unsure? Didn't you see it all with your own eyes? Too fast and the clear mm. I didn't get a clearer Abby, look. Can you show us again? I'm super curious how you did that. Who knows? We might learn something. Well, since you asked, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> but this place is too crowded. Let's move to that open spot over there. Him. All eyes on me. Okay. Well, what's going on? I'll try again. Just you see. Unlock. Seems like a little bit of a skill issue. Uh, what? Abby? Did something happen? Uh, just, just a little slip. That's all. I can do it. You gotta trust me. Back then, I just stood in front of her, and that big bad Thronodian monster thing just, uh, it just left. So, you didn't really do anything. Huh? No, I... I definitely did something. Like I said, I was asleep. And then all of a sudden, I smelled something really yummy. Coming closer and closer. Uh, it was like nothing I ever smelled before. Okay. I didn't have time to think. I just had to show up and reach out for it. So... Maybe Abby's power activates automatically under certain circumstances. Perhaps Abby can't control it yet. Yeah, it looks that way. You can't even hold your shape for very long yet. Hey, hey, hey. Stop looking down on me. Like I said, it was just oh, hey, a hey, slip. Hey. Really? I think about it. I just stood there and did nothing. And ended up beating a Thronodian. Imagine what I could do if I actually tried. Hey, Rover, get behind me next time we run into anything, okay? I'll keep you safe. Promise. You're so real for that, Abby. You bet. Are they? I said I'm super strong. I'll protect her. Thanks, I guess. That's very reassuring to hear. But it seems we're stuck again. I can't think of anything else to check out. Take our time. Knew it. Nothing about Rover is ever going to be easy to figure out. Maybe we should bring Baija, Mr. Shangli, Yao, and all the researchers in Jinjo? No, in the entire Huang Long together? They'll do a nice and thorough examination on Abby, and then... What does Blitz say? Absolutely no! I said no! Told that p 
poker face researcher already. I'll make it clear. I am to stay with Rover. I agree. Abby cannot leave Rover's side, but we can't just trap her here for research. Where did you absorb Abby? What are Abby's powers? And what exactly happened between you two? There are so many questions we can't figure out yet. Our Sentinel Joy can look into the future. Nothing ever deviates from its predictions. It has already sort of guided you to the Norfolk Barons through Madame Magistrate's messages, right? Mm -hmm. Now that the Thronodian crisis is over, perhaps you can consult our Magistrate and our Sentinel again. I'm sure they can offer you some more useful guidance. Relax, relax. You have me now, remember? Meeting up with that Jinshi person, getting your memories back. I've got you. Speaking of that, so this Sentinel can predict the future? That sounds cool. The name Jue sounds pretty cool, too. It's almost as cool as mine. What does it look like? Where is it? Since we're paying it a visit, this sentinel should treat us with food, right? Oh, I wonder how the food's gonna taste. Our sentinel protects every one of us. Of course it's cool. But why are you talking about food again? Didn't you just stuff your face? What? Is your stomach a black hole? I can't help it. I'm always starving. Yeah. At the party with Yang and Shishi, travel around Jinshu with Abby. Uh, several days later. Well, I guess they said we're waiting for Jinshi, right? Rover, did you hear that? My stomach is growling. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Oh, how about we go to that place we went to last time with Yang Yang and Chisha? I love their food so much. Yeah. Mm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> uh, hello? Are you with me? You seem a bit distracted. With so much delicious food right in front of you, aren't you gonna try any? Well, if you're not interested, I'll gobble it all up. <laughs> You've been absent-minded the whole day. Still bothered by that dream from last night? Oh. Wait, so you had a dream about the Sentinel? Like the one from your flashback when we saw the Sentinel statue after you lost your memory? Time I saw something different. <laughs> Hang on. So let me get this straight. The Sentinel swooshed you off to a mountain shaped like a dragon. And then there were all these bad things going on with lots and lots of tacit discords. But the Sentinel and look saved at all the, the day. The How exactly I want all did of them. it protect everyone again? Oh, in your dream, it made the time different there. Yeah. The time in the mountains seemed to have slowed down from the outside, away from the tacit discords. The Sentinel must have created a barrier by manipulating the flow of time, keeping those monsters out. It was that a looks safe sick. haven okay. from all the disturbances caused by the tacit discords, where people lived peacefully. Oh. Also, in my dream, I wasn't affected by the slowed time and could freely move in and out of the barrier. It's no shock that you have awesome powers, being friends with me. Uh, what was that place you dreamed about called? I'm not entirely sure I heard it correctly, but in my dream... 
The sentinel mentioned a place called Mount Firmament. He said that. Mount Firmament? Never heard of it. No, old guy heard of it though. You've never heard of Mount Firmament? Then I'm sure you're not from around here. Huh? Hold on! Did you just say Mount Firmament? Oh my! Did that echo just talk? It's a good friend of mine. Come on, man, relax. You don't hear an echo talking every day, but it's not that uncommon either. I heard there's a country called Re... Uh, Rhinus. What? Anyway, the echoes there are next level. So does Mount Firmament. Oh, you're not from around here? <laughs> well, that explains why you don't know about Mount Firmament. Legends say Mount Firmament is where the first people of Jinjo live. It looks like a giant statue of our sentinel Zhue. I know that's what to actually heard their name. of anyone going to that place. They say those who try either get lost in the sea mist or never come back. If you're curious, just head southeast. Mount Firmament is on the east side of Whining Ix's Mire. And you can see it from a distance. The southeast. Do you take any ideas? The past few days, especially this morning, I caught this unique smell from the southeast. From that mountain they just mentioned. Unique smell. It's like a strong energy pulsing through the air, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It feels kind of weird, though. Doesn't smell natural. Could it have anything to do with what you said? A place where time passes slowly? Hmm. Do you want to go check it out? I yeah. had a flashback about seeing their sentinel. Perhaps that happened on Mount Firmament. I can feel an unknown force guiding me, urging me to go there and find something. Jinsi said she'll go search for the Sentinel and update me on its whereabouts. But so far, I have not heard anything from the City Hall yet. Then shall we go check it out together? It feels really suspicious. Let's go to Jinshabot. Chapter 1, Act 7. Let's go. Abby, are you getting sleepy again? Let me uh, take a quick nap, alright? I've got keen ears. If anything goes down, just give me a holler and I'll, I'll be... I'll be up in a jiffy, I swear. Yeah, I'm gonna take the lift, just because it's like voice lines or something. It's time. And you know what? Let me What? Well, that's a bug. I guess we're teleporting. <laughs> oh. There it is. Day one, by the way. Oh. Hmm.
Anything you need me to deal with? <clears throat> Sound like about Yin Lin, man. Like I, I feel like she won't appear like ever again. Just because she's like not part of the main story, she's just like the character story, and that's it. Son, what help? Need information. Greetings, Rover. What can I help you with today? Yeah, for Jinji, I have questions about the I regret to inform you that Madam Magistrate is not in the City Hall. She has left for Mount Firmament. In fact, we have not heard back from her for days. Is optic? Unfortunately, no. Please keep this confidential. The situation in Jinzhou is still unstable after our battle with the Thrinodian. We must limit discussion of the Magistrate's whereabouts to a select few. What's going on? When we captured Scar, he claimed that the Fraxidus had imprisoned our Sentinel. Oh. It was around the same time that Madam Magistrate lost track of Sentinel Jue. If our Sentinel is truly in danger, or if someone with malicious intent obtains this information, the potential consequences could be as catastrophic as the previous Thranodian invasion. In order to investigate the Sentinel's whereabouts, Madam Magistrate has left for Mount Firmament, its last recorded location. Did you bring anyone with her? Bodyguards? Madam Magistrate traveled to Mount Firmament alone. The looming threat okay. of the Thranodian discouraged any additional diversion of human resources. Furthermore, when it comes to the Sentinel, force is not a viable solution. Yeah, I need to help Jinshi. Madam Magistrate trusts you. It is beyond my authorization to meddle in your decisions. However, the landscape around Mount Firmament is complex. One must be accompanied by a special wayfinder to navigate safely. That's all I know. Okay. Where can I find this wayfinder Currently, then? She's likely at the ferry terminal in Winding Ix's mire. I'll reach out to her. To learn more about Mount Firmament, you can meet her at the ferry. I lack the same level of understanding of the situation there as she does. All right. I trust Madam Magistrate's decisions. I will do my utmost to handle the public matters on her behalf while she is away. I just... This worry about her safety won't leave me. Oh. In her last video message, I could tell she seemed weaker than usual, despite her efforts to maintain composure. Mm -hmm. Madam Magistrate's situation might not be optimistic. But like, Rover, Mount Firmament okay. is a dangerous place. Please take care. I have sent the coordinates to your terminal. Thank you for your kind help. I pray you will both return safely. No problem. Happy are you there? I'm listening. Hey, did you notice how the mountain has a strangely pleasant smell? Hmm. It doesn't look edible, though. I'll get some rest. I can handle it. Of course you can. When I'm already so cool, you must be pretty amazing, too. I got someone who just left. And like her worry. office. <laughs> if there's any danger coming your way, I'll wake up like clockwork. Just like last time. Well, unless there's nothing that can even remotely challenge you. In that case, I probably won't wake up. Well, goodbye. Let's head to the ferry. Hmm. Mount Firmament. Our wayfinder should have plenty of information to share. Cool. Trying to go on a small boat trip.
I'm dead. I'm dying. Oh my god. Are you trapped here by the rain? That's crazy. Thank you. No need for thanks. We're about to embark on a journey together, Rover. Oh my god, I'm dying. Bro, her eyes. Oh my god. I'm dead. Yeah. Ah, this game is good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where the wayfinder? I am Chun Li, your wayfinder. Well, I just need to sample a little bit. Don't worry, the rain won't last much longer. Our destination lies just beyond it. Rover, what do you know about Mount Firmament? It's the place where Jinsho was found. I'm gonna ask her her question. Because why not? There is a certain folk tale. Have you heard of it? While hiking in the mountains, a woodcutter came upon two people playing Weichi and became enthralled with their game. Upon his return home, he found a world transformed. Everything was different, as if in a new reality. That mountain was a secret realm where time worked differently. The woodcutter only spent half a day inside, but outside, a century had passed. Wait, so is that the way around? So those people have been in there, like, Mount Firmament. Hundreds of years? Place. Thousands of years? But unlike this folktale, there is a price to pay for entering and exiting its grounds. If I spend a full day in the mountains, ten days will be taken off my lifespan upon my leaving, reflecting the actual time that is passed outside.
Not to mention, the situation on Mount Firmament right now is probably even more complex than before. What happened? The strange time patterns of Mount Firmament are tied to the Sentinel's temporal mandate. Time ebbs and flows at its will. If the Fraxidus really has imprisoned our Sentinel, causing it to lose control of its powers, that could explain the temporal disruptions. Which means Mount Firmament is basically a dead end, with no way out. And you're heading straight to that, that, end, that dead end. Lifespan is not the top of my concerns. If you've decided to venture there, I'll join you as your Wayfinder. Jin Shi has stayed on Mount Firmament for too long. Unless she might be in danger. She doesn't miss a thing, does she? Before Jin Shi left for Mount Firmament, scales began appearing on her body, and her resonance ability was weakening. Those signs pointed to a dire situation for the Sentinel as well. That's why I must lead you there. You might have the key to solving our dilemma. What do you mean? But she's... You're here she's big. Because I invited you. Sanhua was instructed to disclose my whereabouts if you ever went to City Hall and asked about Jin Shi. And why would you tell me? From what I understand, there is a strong link between you and the Sentinel. More importantly, you've been the primary target of the Fraxidus. That Overseer tried everything to sway you and make you join their side before our battle with the reviving Thranodian. It's a clear sign that your involvement could disrupt their plans, especially at Mount Firmament. <laughs> Why do you care so much about me? Oh, Chang Li told me everything. Records at the Grand God. Library tell a tale of <laughs> She's so big, man. That's crazy. After the Sentinel's <sighs> descent, and they emerged unscathed, as if time had no hold on them. They were also said to have stood alongside the Sentinel. And here before me stands someone who bears an uncanny resemblance to that very individual. That person is me? Is it you? If not you, who else could it be? It took me so God, I like that deep voice though. Oh my god. <laughs> Rover. The journey ahead is filled with danger at every turn. Once we venture into the mountains, there's no turning back. Are you sure you still want to join me? Yes, the strange time pattern can't hurt me. I am a rover. As your wayfinder, I'll lead you to your destination. What you do after that is entirely up to you. Cool. Boat. The rain is subsiding, and the sky will soon clear. It's time for us to head out. Let's. Mount Formament. <laughs> We're here. Oh my god, cutscene. I think. Oh, oh my god.
Why is she? Oh my god. She can't sing. To soothe my music powers or something. I haven't seen anything of Chang Lee, so I'm guessing I heard one person say that like she she can be like a support or like sub DPS type of thing. So maybe this is like a part of that. Her soothing aura. Mount firmament. Ah yes. Here come the chests. I can't wait. Okay. Chillax with the shorts though. We're at the base of Mount Firmament. Wow. But we won't enter the temporal barrier until we cross the luminous shore. Shall we proceed? The storm is coming. Some people must be itching to pounce. Changli, help. There's no bridge here. I'm running. Okay. The bridge has broken. No. What's this? Judging by its design and intricate details, it must be a creation of the Court of Savante. Bro, you're supposed to be a wayfinder and you don't know. Nah. This is what they call a Chronos Order. What is that? Okay, it might be she does know. It mimics the Sentinel's temporal mandate, able to reverse small scale events and restore objects to their previous state. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the master once told me about the court of Savante and their fearless quest to unravel the mysteries of Mount Firmament, risking all in their pursuit of understanding its strange flow of time. Their dedication bore fruit in the form of fascinating inventions, such as this Kronos Order. But it doesn't add up. What? Why hasn't this brilliant invention spread beyond Mount Firmament? Because Mount Firmament it's, needs its own puzzles. This Kronos Order was built beyond the temporal barrier, so its creator must have already paid the price for leaving. I see another bell. But even if they died, there are countless other CSC members who could replicate it. She didn't read the text above. That's crazy. We are advancing. In a voice acting quality. Or do these Kronos orders stop functioning once they are removed from Mount Firmament? What should we do now? This Kronos order, weathered though it may appear, bears no signs of neglect. Someone has tended to it diligently. Let's Give it a try.
Okay. It. That's it. I thought it was like a like a rhythm type of game. Nah. Nah, pray. Oh wait, these aren't the bills aren't like um the wood. They're like the Sonus caskets. No, or whatever they're called. You know the things they turn into that robot guy. Oh my god, the teleporter. Crazy. Weren't they concerned about losing lifespan? For those fanatics, nothing mattered more than the truth. To live every moment with overwhelming passion. How many can claim such a tenacious drive and unshakable determination? True. Rover, it's sorry for cutting you off, my watch and learn. Ride or die. One of the sounds, they my field of expertise, the Fraxidus. It's them again. Oh, it's so weird that they voice like traps all around the luminous shore. They must have anticipated your arrival. I mean, have Scar said. Uh, that, he done that to provoke us. Expecting we would do this. I wonder if the cooking and synthesizing level increases, though. Well. The entrance is sealed. It's the photon barrier. Another invention from the court of Savante. Specific steps must be followed to undo the barrier. Rover, I'll guide you. Yes, guide me in. Use long range weapons on the photon vaults to cut off its energy. Once we reach the cave's end, we'll enter the domain of Mount Firmament. We should just Proceed attack them. With caution. Wait, the echo. That was sick. It's like the voices are dynamic like that, depending on where you are. That's crazy, no? Is it happened right when I walked in? No matter what the meat. They're moving. I'll tell you that much. So there's the barrier thingy. That was fast. So it can't hurt me. No jungle. The effect of that strange time pattern you mentioned. Time on Mount Firmament used to simply flow slower than in the outside world. Visitors were safe as long as they remained within the temporal barrier. But what we're seeing now is different. The flow of time has gone haywire. This is what we call temporal disruptions. What was once slow and steady has become 
chaotic and turbulent. Some areas are frozen in time, while others speed up or slow down unpredictably. No one knows how much they'll age after leaving Mount Firmament. But aging from youth to old age may be a blessing compared to the unknown fate that awaits. Leaving Mount Firmament could turn any mortal to dust in just a moment. Such is the power of time within its walls. These poor creatures, trapped in the temporal disruption, are the most pitiful of all. Their bodies and minds have been ravaged by the chaotic time, leaving them in unimaginable suffering. So, it looks like the Fraxodus did manage to capture our Sentinel, leading to the temporal disruptions we are facing now. I had wished that my theories would turn out wrong. As expected, my terminal isn't working. We can't reach Jinshi. The temporal yeah. disruption is preventing it from functioning. Oh, well, really Chang is here with us, like the whole time. I thought she's gonna be like I don't know, like back in Jinjo or something. We can't like telling us what's up. Jinshi's fate isn't the only one at stake. All the inhabitants of Mount Firmament are in danger. We need to hurry to Hongzhen, a town nestled at the heart of Mount Firmament. Jinshi would likely pass through there on her search for the Sentinel. Hmm. The temporal disruptions have spared nothing on our way here. Cheng Li, does that mean you're in danger too? So far, nothing feels out of the ordinary. It seems the Sentinel contained the situation before being fully trapped. But I don't know how long the stability will hold. If I go down, please don't worry about me. No. You I will cry. Only focus on what you have to do. Don't say that. Whoa, graphical glitches. Cool. I like how they're like having you go past like the big teleports so you can unlock the map. Really nice. And the story mission, right? That makes it a lot easier. Wow. Big map. Oh, then that's it. And then, I don't know, it's just a... Uh, Mount Formament. 4% exploration. Here we go. Wait. Actually, let me look at that. I think that's still 100% all of them, right? They didn't, like, change anything. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, counting up the chests or something. Oh. Was that Fraxid just, like, attacking a person? Mm -hmm. Sure looks like it. What's the matter? I dreamed of this place. You dreamed of Hongzhen? Yes. It's probably a dream from last night. It sounds like you did dream of this place. In the center protecting people here. I dreamed of Hongzhen being attacked by TDs. What you just described closely aligns with the accounts documented in our grand library. Over a century ago, a vast horde of tacit discords invaded Huang Long. Hongzhen suffered greatly during that onslaught. Thankfully, the sentinel descended, manipulating time to erect a protective barrier keeping those monsters at bay. Rover, perhaps that dream is more than just a dream. 
It could be a glimpse into your own past, and a guiding light for the future. Understood. Oh, there's like a real Fraxidus, people. The Fraxidus. Hongjin is a pivotal location, linking various parts of Mount Firmament. With the Fraxidus now targeting us, they'll seize any opportunity to intercept our path. The trap in Hongjin. But every trap has its weak points. What's that? Someone has used their resonance ability here, but it feels different from the Fraxidus aggression. It's Jinshi, and it seems like she used it in a dire situation. Could it be related to the people of Hongzhen? The traces lead deeper into the heart of Hongzhen. Let's keep moving. Don't let your guard down. Sure. Rest of us, Hongjian. Suspended in time of temporal disruption. Call NPC. Rest of artificer. Suspended in time of temporal disruption and a further frozen instant before the disaster struck. I'm irritated, most of it even before the disaster struck. Yeah. That's crazy. The traces end here. Let's search the area. There should be more clues nearby. Oh. Someone fought here against those Fraxidus. Must be Jinshi. Her trails led to this location. You just here? Using her resonance ability too much would only worsen her condition, but she must have had a reason. Was she helping the people of Hongjen find also, her I'm refuge? Not gonna talk about how the Axis is killing these people or something. <laughs> Cheng Li, it's kind of wild. There are traces here. They're pointing north. Let's proceed in that direction. Wait, what is it gonna say about this guy? Been, okay, same shit. Hello. No mercy. <laughs> Saves me the search. None shall whisper. The traces disappear by the pond. Rover, we need to keep an eye out for anything unusual. I've had enough. Get lost. Not the lament. Saves me the search. Save me the search. Shut the fuck up. Uh, oh, synthesizer. Oh my god. Not tell me the synthesizer is like really close to a TP or something. The vase on the stone table seems rather peculiar. There's something behind the waterfall. Okay. Cool. Let's go take a look. Another photon barrier. Three photon vaults to break. Rover, use ranged attacks. Uh. I'm good. You two. Oh, halt. People. Hold on. Lady Xing Yi. 
Relax, there are honored guests. No need to be tense. Oh, she needs old. I turned like in the previous screenshots, she had like blue hair, no? In a single day, we've greeted both the magistrate of Jinjo and her trusted counselor in Hong Zhen. I can only assume something significant happened. It's been a while, Chang Li. I heard you step down from your position and move to the countryside. And now here we are, meeting again after all this time, in such unfortunate circumstances. For years I live secluded, no longer concerning myself with the matters beyond Hong Zhen. But the current situation in Jinzhou is volatile. It has reunited us in an unpredictable moment. And you, young lady. What shall I call you? My name. My name is Xin Yi. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Please follow me this way. It's not safe to talk here. I will follow. This always happens, man. They're always walking faster than I am. Like every NPC in every game ever. Like, how can you not get this right? Like, surely it's not like... Like, it's just like a slider thingy, right? Or some, some, something like that. They just need to, like, match. Just like a number. On the speed. I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. The Magistrate left Hong Zhen about 15 minutes ago. She should be at the Truth Seekers Pass now. That's what they call it in Hong Zhen. You might know it better as the ruins of a Court of Savante facility. Lady Shenyi, please elaborate. <laughs> Madam Magistrate, are you... I'm fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted and escorted to safety. Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much needed shelter for them to rest a little. Despite being the Sentinel's appointed resonator, I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the Sentinel. This can only mean one thing. The Sentinel's condition is getting worse. Lady Xing Yi, I need to know where the Sentinel was last seen. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Oh. Mount Vermin so can is fix in it. serious trouble, and we can't waste any more time. We need our Sentinel to stabilize the time flow. The Sentinel was last seen flying towards Mianlun Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after. But little did they know, we had a defense system in place, built with the help of the Court of Savante. It was reactivated as soon as our sentinel made it back inside. This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops. And we've already eliminated some of them outside the Mianlun chamber. To get inside Mianlun chamber, we have to find the cipher key in Truth Seeker's Pass. 
and unseal it with the Keyforge. Understood. I will go bring back the Cypher Key. You are injured. Please, rest and leave it to me. I like how she looks though. That... Like a general. She's ready. The Fraxidus will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. I like how everyone is like dressed up. Because like winter and snow and all that. And then we just come from Jinjo. Where it's hot. I implore you. She the same clothes. Help me keep our people safe. Yes, I will, Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, the Fraxidus revealed a prophecy from our Sentinel. A fateful clash between the Sentinel and myself that would shape the fate of our city. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. The Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. A day when the humans of Jinjo take control of their own destiny. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. And then she Ooh. left. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. How did the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? The Mianlong Chamber was once renovated by the court of Savante. Do you think their research could be involved somehow? I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key, the Mianlong Chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus potential retaliation. We must keep them at bay. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jingxi. We'll distract the Fraxidus main forces, giving you an opportunity to stage your ambush. Please let me use Changli. Oh my god. I can't rest. wait. Sure. Sounds like a plan. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the truth seekers pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xingyi. Please leave it to us. That side profile is crazy, no? In this place she was born. And in this place, she returns. Our Magistrate's fate is bound to Mount Firmament. Also, Jinxi is from here. Cool. So that's why probably she like extra cares as well. Not only just because she's the Magistrate. Because her family is gonna die. Stuff. Side Jin exit. and Jinxi know each other? Jinxi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. Mm. All the government workers there helped care for and teach her at some point, including Lady Xingyi. She grew up with immense responsibilities, forced to suppress her true nature from a young age. And she was only a teenage girl when she became the Magistrate. She has been burdened with unimaginable weight that most cannot fathom. What? Not bright. Oh my god. Dragging me out of my lab for this. Good reason. My turn already? 
Good. There's no time to waste. Mint. Angelica. What is going on here? I assume this is the Truth Seeker's past Shin Yi mentioned. Yes. This should be another Chronos order. It should work it's too early, man. with the one we saw He's... on the luminous shore. Mother voice patches, man, they need to... Oh my god. EU unfriendly, man. That's crazy. The entrance is built on that cliff. Right, day. And it's been blocked. What is updates coming out? <laughs> like, surely... Like... Well... I mean, that's why... I don't know. I'm just... Because otherwise, if I wasn't, like, having to stream or whatever, I would have just done it, like, later today or, like, tomorrow or something. But, yeah. We will need to break the three photon vaults with ranged attacks first. Hmm. Or what is it? Nothing. I was wondering, how did the court of Savante create such an advanced mechanism using the Sentinel's power? Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend it. Yeah, these guys sound pretty smart, eh? I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability to manipulate time. Unless the Sentinel willingly taught them. But why? We need to focus on items related to the court of Savante in Truthseeker's Pass. Maybe we can find some clues there. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. As always, I'm the one you need. <sighs> one of the photon vaults. Let's get this done. Good. Did you see the tacitite fulminate on that cliff? Yes. Perhaps we can create an opening in this disc with an explosion. Lop. Oh, so that. Uh, okay, so what did that do exactly? Mm. It worked. The opening fits right onto the middle photon ball. Rover, now we can hit the three photon. Yes, we can. The blockade has been lifted. Let's go in. Anything you need me to deal with? Yeah. Let's go in. Wait. They choose the new features. Bonk. And a chest. Crazy. Man, I've seen a purple chest now a while. In like two weeks or something. <laughs> Blue, all right. That's a new thing, right? Maybe some new weapons that we can create. Why are there tacit discords here? No, these monsters, they don't look like the usual tacit discords. These also look like the works of the court of Savante. Did they create these simulated holograms to protect this place? None shall whisper. That is interesting. One with the sound. Look, can these arrow fingers? Oh, stop it. Watch and learn. Chess. An unexpected discovery. 
one with the sound. Oh, a tambourinist. Life is in everything. The show begins. That thing up ahead, is it another mechanism? It seems to have unlocked after we got rid of those holograms. Let's go and have a look. This guy just chilling there like that. Oh, damn. Activate. Oh. The glowing patterns on that gate. It's a flare crest. Yes. The flare crests have a complex structure, but they can be deciphered with patience. Yeah, so See complex. How each star represents a flare stone. That mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them. So the corresponding star has dimmed. Yes, we still need the other two flare stones to open it. Well, time to Wait. explore. I'm waiting. The blood and scales here. It's Jinshi. She is likely teetering on the edge of overclocking now. We are running out of time. Really? Holy moly. Chinchi, I am coming. Stay safe, queen. Remnants of the past. Decades have passed. But those researchers' presence still lingers in this place. I thought she said presence like in gifts. I was like, what? <laughs> Talking about this piece of paper on the floor? Uh, no any more turners. But in subject C01. Also known as Jewel. What? He's a specimen. Um, month is supposed to let that this event occurred due to the presence of subject C002. That was Mian Long Chamber. An inhibitory effect on the duration growth of subject C001. The help of a peculiar visitor developed to communicate with you. Eh? Meaningful and mutual conversation. Let's the conversation proved that one point our previous research was effective and there was no defect in C001. One of the temporal programs was lost under its prime. C001 had accumulated more time by accelerating it or even holding it, rewinding it and making corrections needed. Nonetheless, the current conditions of C001 can be described as one of sickness. One form has been transformed into an isolated entity amidst the various oceans of time, despite the initial purpose of being one of redemption. Cannot be reversed. Okay. So the time you think is actually gonna increase. Yeah. Uh oh, if Jua dies, then everyone's dead, basically. Um, hmm. I wonder what that peculiar visitor is. They're not talking about Jinshi, right? So it has to be someone else. The sentinel situation is worse than hmm. we thought. Mm -hmm. It had already sustained severe injuries Us, when it descended upon Mount Firmament. With one of the temporal programs lost, it no 
longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. So, the Sentinel protected Hongzhen with its power. But it couldn't return things back to normal? It would seem so. According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time. And if the Sentinel perishes, the temporal disruptions will spiral out of control, engulfing all of Jinzhou. <sighs> so the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. Then I went to cure the Sentinel. There's nothing we can do. At least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. The Chronos Orders. The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Kronos Order, a man-made resonance object. No, a Kronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. Jinchi. We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Two more flare stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. Hmm. Cool. Down with the curtain. Ha! No mercy. Wait, like high level enemies? What's going on here? Cube. One of the sounds. I've had enough. Get lost. Get lost, please. An unexpected discovery. Clang bang is here. To clang and bang. Let me change to your gun. I have experiments underway. What? <sighs> Wait, but like, I did though. Okay. I guess I didn't walk in the. Like waypoint circle thingy. Stop climbing. Thanks. Another Chronos order. The second flare stone should be behind this gate. Let's restore. the collapsed gate with this Kronos order. There is still another photon vault to break. We can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. Well, wait, where can I stand? I will not even climb up on this. Okay, I see it. I get it. I need a clang bang statue. Bye. 
Look at that device on the floating slab. It could help us open the path to other places. Shall we give it a try? Hmm. So it turned you into a clangbang. Please use the leap device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. Another Chronos order. Let's give it a try. Okay. The stone slates have formed a path. Now we can bring the Tacitite Fulminate across the water. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like... Like, it's a pretty intricate puzzle. Oh my god. I hate these buttons. But... Like, Changli is just telling you what to do. So... And it kills at the same time. Chest. This hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. Ish. Dog. What the dog doing? Cool. Open up. to go back and put it on the thingy One more flare stone. One last flare stone to go. There's a carrier lift nearby. Perhaps the flare stone is on the floor beneath us. We beneath us. Let's go down. Hello. I am down here. Cool. Oh yeah, I forgot you know how to kill the lizards. You have to pick them up. What do we try? Yeah, that was weird. function a certain distance it restored a little bit okay something happened with that is that so so this is confirms that the chronos orders are artificial resonance objects mm -hmm. They activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. Mm -hmm. And this also answers my previous question. The Chronos Orders rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. Sounds really powerful. No, it was nowhere near enough. The Chronos Orders shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus... As artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful, the Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis, which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a Second Resonance Awakening. This fight between Jinxia and the Sentinel. Yes. That fight has to happen to trigger a second resonance awakening for Jinshi. 
so she may exert even stronger resonance abilities, ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. Countless Kronos orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies, but they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. One Kronos order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Kronos orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. What is overclocking? Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. Okay. Sounds pretty standard. You have to, like, die to become stronger kind of thing. No, <laughs> it's not. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. The Kronos orders required manual control, while the Sentinel Jue appeared to be under someone else's command. In the only incident of success, just as the Kronos order was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel, and the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Kronos order thanks to that order. Rover, do you have an idea? I feel like we're talking about Jin Shi, right? Like she's the peculiar person. Individual. Jin Shi. Oh my god. They're just chilling like this. What's happening? Oh my god. You. I would be just as shocked. If I saw those two running towards me. Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt her. I... <coughs> but... Cheng Li... You're... Shh. I gave my word to be your pawn. And I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget, without me playing the Wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have her here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need her help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. But we already owe Rover a lot. If I'm on my past as well. As we headed toward Mount Firmament, Rover mentioned a strange dream she had. It may have been a flashback of her lost memories. Rover, Jue, and Mount Firmament. There must be some kind of crucial connection between the three. Rover also has her own reasons for being here. I see. Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Mm, I don't know about that, but... Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? According to the court of Cervantes' records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. 
As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here, causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Only the Sentinel's appointed resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, yep. triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Chenshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue, but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. The temporal yeah. disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today, it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow, it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. Yes. It's the only way to save it's Mount to Firmament, lock in. protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Wait, what? That's not what she said. She's not about like protecting the sentinel. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever, or even disintegrate into dust. You don't want to end up like those Chronos orders, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. Damn. You're one to talk, my teacher. I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? She's Chen. Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. Oh. We all die eventually, but we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Cheng Li. I... Chen Shi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. She's also the mysterious visitor spoken mm. of in tales about Mount Firmament. I knew it. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover.
I'm strong even without her to help. Giga Chad. Thank you, my teacher. Jing Shi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. They might be using Court of Samantha's mechanisms. Yes, it could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xing Yi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. Yes. What am I hearing? Uh huh, the noises from Jinshi fighting. I see. That's a funny one. I wonder if they're gonna be there forever now. That'll be pretty funny. But there's no way. Okay. On those floating floor tiles, we need a way to restore them. What? I see. What? It's not working. We may need to follow a specific order. Okay, well, you have one stone. You have two stones. And you have three stones. Wow. Look at my mouse. Crazy puzzle. It worked. Of course it did. I'm the smartest. The court of Savante set many traps here. They must have worked hard to protect Mianlong Chamber. Hey, what's up here? Quickly. Okay, we might have to come this way. I won't go any further. Further. Oh, chest. Remnants of the past. Nice. does like what spectral rover does kind of like just loads of like damage instances we have Chang Li with four forte bars Big ass AOE. Okay, she gets like an enhanced E as well. Oh! The dragon thing is. I see when you charge up the forte bar. Holy moly. I didn't get to charge the ultis, man. Shit. Oh, well, surely we can play with them again. At some point. 
That was fun. I'm done with all three flare stones. Good. Let's head back to the entrance. We should be able to access the cipher key now. That's crazy. Jinchi never tried to interfere with natural death before. Why did it make an exception? <sighs> so Jinchi died. Uh, she got revived. Cool. Wait, that was a way. Oh. All the way up. Thank you very much. Look at those thick and they chest. An unexpected discovery. Thanks. And now we're open. Ooh. Sliding. Some snowboarding action. Cool. The cipher key. The cipher key. Rover, take good care of the cipher key. I'm leaving the rest to you and Jinji. Oh boy. Please don't forget, I am your wayfinder. I journeyed with you into the mountains to ensure you meet up with Jinji. You're gonna go back? From this point onward, I will be counting on you both to go and confront the Sentinel. This is all I can do for you. I'm here to guide, not intervene. The path is yours to choose. Not to mention, the Fraxidus has been pestering us non-stop. You'll need someone to keep them at bay. Axes are here for me. So? Yes, they've been constantly watching you. Interested in your every move. They can never seem to take their eyes off of you. By all means, please carry on without me. As for myself... I have a more fitting location to make my contributions from. Oh, speak of the devils. What? Oh, we're able to fly up in the sky, I feel like. Oh, <gasps> that look. I'm dead. <laughs> nah, she's so bad. How rude. This is not how we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper. Oh, etiquette. my God. Yep. <gasps> nah. Nah, 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 nah. Oh. Oh my. This is so sick. Like purely 
ass mortals. Look, that's crazy. Those are for nothing to She's worry insane. About. Don't worry. And oh my Jenny god. She's at uh, I, I need to see more for that's crazy. Love it. None shall whisper. <laughs> I'm dead. What a character. God. Remnants of the past. It's Madam Magistrate. She's back. I must back. tell Lady Xin Yi. See, I need to get around slower than we do. Like, come on, bro. Chang is so bad. Oh, oh, oh my god. <sighs> the Mianlung chamber is open now. You can proceed inside. Crazy. Okay. Before you go, there's something important I need to tell you. Chang Li was right. They use the Court of Cervantes research to trap our sentinel in its resting chamber. Mm -hmm. How did it? They use the Chrono Sorters. Our captured artificer revealed that the Fraxidas sent a death squad to invade Mount Firmament. They had a twofold plan. First, to place the Chrono Sorter in the Mianlun chamber while it was still operational. And second, to lure the Sentinel back to Mount Firmament. Although their death squad yeah, was they had, like, for the Sentinel, just... by you see double one, I see double two. The powerful resonance ability of the Sentinel would clash with the energy of the Chrono Sorter. This would ultimately cause harm to itself. I don't know Chrono Sorters trap the Sentinel. What if 
the Fraxidus modified those chrono sorters? No way. A whole bunch of them, pushed to their limits, all working together to deliver one massive blow. But not even that was enough to take down the Sentinel. After the first hit, they set up modified flare crests in the Mianlun chamber to form a special force field along with those chrono sorters. It prevented the Sentinel from replenishing energy and eventually restricted its movement and perception. Mm -hmm. So, we must free the Sentinel from that force field first. Mm -hmm. It would be a task more complicated than it sounds. Nope. The people of Hong Zhen have lived with the Sentinel for generations. We can usually tell if it's in good shape or not. But now, the Fraxidus want to capture the Sentinel. They won't just stop at Mount Firmament. Madam Magistrate, I'm sure you didn't come here just for the Sentinel. Please tell us what you know, Madam Magistrate. Yes, I will tell you everything. And yeah, finally, Trisica's pass. So the Sentinel fast. is actually injured, and it's been getting worse. The Fraxidus attacked while it hasn't healed yet. Their plans are devious as always. Madam Magistrate. You've already laid out this plan so far. It's always a challenge to decipher the Sentinel's intentions. But there were many theories about it in City Hall at the time. I couldn't fathom why it went through such great lengths to retrieve you from Mount Firmament and raise you within our walls. But now that I reflect on it, perhaps the Sentinel saw in you the potential to one day restore the temporal program and ensure the survival of Jinjo's inhabitants. I just never thought you'd be willing to follow through with that prophecy. Okay. It was here on this very mountain that I first encountered the Sentinel. Back then, I was too young to remember anything. Even the image of Mount Firmament has slipped from my mind. But this time, as soon as I stood at the base of Mount Firmament, I felt a wave of recognition wash over me. Memories long buried resurfaced with sudden clarity. Lady Xingyi, I was born with my life, my everything connected to our sentinel. Yep. But my duty as its appointed resonator is not the only reason for my decision. I'm following the heart of my younger self before I became Jinxi. The girl who used to laugh with pure joy as she felt the snow from Mount Firmament on her face. I am a seed born on Mount Firmament, carried by the wind to every corner of Jinzhou. But now I have returned to my place of origin. It's time for me to take root and grow into something greater.
No matter what happens or what choices you make, please remember, the people of Hongzhen will always have your back. Mount Firmament has been stagnant for eternity. Perhaps a sudden crack of lightning is what we need to break through the fog of uncertainty that has lingered over us for far too long. True. Once you pass through Hongzhen, keep your eyes open for a cave on the northern cliff. That will lead you to a shortcut towards Mianlun Chamber. The place is directly under Mount Firmament's I Oh. Sorry, my bad. I forgot that was like a trigger door type of thing. Jinshi, so far. Everything we know about the Sentinel is still just speculation. You were right. But my weakening resonance ability and my connection to the Sentinel leave me no choice but to explore these theories. Whether it's fact or fiction, truth or a lie, I have to confront the Sentinel and see for myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't want to trigger the next market just in case. They stop chatting or something. You know how these games are. An yes. unexpected discovery. For free. Long Spurl. Or is that like an ascension flower? Could be. No, they're not. <laughs> There's way too many of them. For it to be like an ascension flower. Come on, man. Ha! Ha! Ah, yes. Make this quick. Oh. I have experiments underway. So we're teaming up. Yeah, you know, they want us to use pistols. Then why not give us a five star, a limited five star pistol character? Because then we would have someone to use for those puzzles, right? The Mian Loom chamber should be deep in the cave. Let's go. Chest. You know, I'll kill these guys one. Tear them to pieces. You're not getting away. Shadow descends. The show begins. Remnants of the past. That was like the slowest combo ever. I was messing up every button. No hesitation. What? Oh. Tear them to pieces. Bro, are you serious? My mouth stopped working. Hello? Oh, there we go. Like, it was weird because like it was on. It wasn't like Okay, huh? An unexpected discovery. Yeah, that may be a sign. Yo, make sure to subscribe so I can start making some money. I can uh upgrade my setup a little bit. 
Let's go there. Because god damn. I've had enough. Get lost. Don't blink. You won't cast me down. What? But I switched though. Oh, I just saw my yearling cell. <laughs> X. Can this archer piss off? chest wow got just a free belt that was kind of hard to notice okay teleporter thank you very much it's a moon long chamber Mian Long Chamber. We should now help the Sentinel break free from the Flare Crest's binds. This sort of isn't moving at all. Chronos orders nearby may have frozen this body of water and time. Or it could have been caused by the temporal disruptions here. Either way, we can use it to our advantage. We can walk over the water now. We are too far away to see what's going on inside. Let's go. I still need more information to determine what we should do next. Yes. I agree. Wait, is this water or is it like ice? Oh, it's neither. <laughs> I see. Down with the curtain. Down with the curtain. No curtains allowed. Remnants of the past. There's nothing up here, really. Oh, Chrono thingy. I don't know if it's like my mouse lagging or actually just dying. It's kind of weird. I can feel the Sentinel's presence inside. But it's not responding. Cutscene. Time. Does the flowers look ominous or anything? Ah, there he is. What's up? Bro, you can't tell me that doesn't look like Scale Gorge worth the skip. Like, come on, bro. From Hawkeye Star Rail. That's funny. The Ambrosial Amber. <laughs> Three more flare thingies. Stars, whatever they were called. Ain't no way. The Flare Crest. The Sentinel is telling us we need to find the three Flare Stones corresponding to the Flare Crest. Then we will be able to lift the confinement set by the Fraxidus. But I'm not seeing any Flare Stones. 
or any kind of entrance to another chamber. There seems to be something underwater. Let's start with the Chrono Sorter here. Yes. This has three stages. One, which doesn't really seem to do much. And two, which looks like the the water but level has dropped. We may have to bring it back to two to like walk on it. It's the flare stone. On that rock. Let's go retrieve it. Yes. Make this quick. I have experiments underway. I wait, I forgot. This one's not like the infinite range. The stone is right here. But we have to open this photon barrier first. This barrier will break down once the corresponding photon vaults are destroyed. One of the photon vaults is in there. We need to find a way to destroy the spikes with the corroder's help. Same as last time, let's locate the photon vault first. <sighs> the remaining photon vault is hidden behind the fissured ledge. Fissured ledge. If only there was a tacitite fulminate. Let's look around. Okay, I think I get it. All right. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. None shall whisper. Fury boils. Nowhere to hide. Watch the sound. Sunlight Shadow descends. You will have a fight in this kind of tower. It's making a lot more noises. Look, yeah. I've also shared intricate details about us our world. Civilizations. Uh so I was grateful for the knowledge she shared with me. I yearn to see this new world for myself. And I had been cooped up in my room for too long. Cool. Once tacit discords terrorized the land. The region of Jinjo was under siege. Mm -hmm. A mother and her newborn child were hiding in ruins, trying to avoid the deadly creatures. They weren't safe for long, as the tacit discord found them. The mother sacrificed herself to protect her child. But with her gone, it was difficult for the newborn to survive. In a couple of minutes, its loud cries gradually died out. Fortunately, the newborn's cries echoed through the forest with a unique resonance that reached the ears of the mighty Sentinel. With a burst of energy, our sentinel dispelled the surrounding evils. But Our sadly, sentinel. It was too late. That night, Mount Firmament shook with the roars of a lung, and dark clouds gathered. The sentinel returned with a dead infant in its embrace. As if by magic, somber clouds parted and shooting stars lit up the sky. 
With Mount Firmament's unique flow of time, the Sentinel brought the deceased infant back to life. The resurrected infant became known as, as the, the Sentinel's Sentinel. appointed resonator and went on to become the magistrate of Jinjo. Here is it. You? Yes. It's me. I've lived in Jinjo my whole life and never ventured into Hongjen. Yet even I know of the legend. To me, Jue is more than just our sentinel or a revered divine being. It raised me and saved me from certain death. I've been thinking about it on our way here. If the Sentinel predicted our fight, why would it even bother saving me in the first place? Now I understand why. Because I am the Sentinel's resonator. I may not have any extraordinary abilities, but I do possess the temporal program that it accidentally lost. If Jinju ever faces a similar time crisis, I... I might be the only one who can set things right. In our Sentinel's prediction, the battle between us is supposed to happen in the distant future. It had been waiting for an opportunity, a right moment to tell me the truth. That's why it didn't explain. Now may not be the opportunity the Sentinel has been waiting for. But my body cannot hold up much longer. I have to go and face it while I still can. To learn about the truth or complete our destined battle. That's if I don't want to see you suffer. Yeah, we're friends. My duty. I never thought about it. That's not what I said, but okay. Uh, I love honest, those type of options. I did doubt myself many times. It was the endless kindness of you, Chung Li, Xing Yi, and everyone in Jin Zhou that gave me the courage to push on. Even Jue's decision to bring me back to life. Whether out of pity or not, I am truly grateful. The thought of it warms my heart every time. Jinjo holds everything that's dear to me. Even without the title of Magistrate, I could never leave Jinjo behind. Your wounds. I'm okay. The pain I'm feeling is nothing compared to those trapped in the temporal disruptions. I must find the Sentinel as soon as possible. We draw from the same source of power. Saving it means saving myself. You have to find the Sentinel. If there is truly no other option in the end, then I will have to fight it. I refuse to back down. I will fight. To protect the Sentinel, and to defend Jin Zhou. One life may be lost, but many will be saved. If it means keeping everyone safe, then I have no regrets giving my own life. But let me make one thing clear. I am not planning on dying yet. I am here to fight for a chance at survival, no matter how slim that chance may be. We're not in a situation where death is our only option, are we? I will help you. We will survive and win. Thank you for and placing prosper. your trust in me. Come to think of it, many good things have happened to me since you arrived in Jinjo. Really? Thank you, Rover. I'm always here for you. 
plus aura. <laughs> My teacher Chung Li told me it's up to both of us to solve the crisis at Mount Firmament. As I know you have a special connection with our Sentinel, I need your support in this decision. Yes. But don't worry. I'm prepared. This isn't about succumbing to destiny. It's about embracing it fully. I am grateful to have you by my side through it all. Yeah, no problem. Cool. Now let's finish this puzzle. Wait. There's a door here. What do you hold? A chest. Discovery. That's crazy. I would have missed that. Let's do this one first, I think. I can stand and blow up that wall. What's here? Oh. I see. Well, first let's... I wonder if, if it can reach. Okay, well, I can make it around that wall. Aha. Uh -huh. What's here? chest I will get it sit down Mr. Bear cool anything else hello Stone. Where's this guy going? Oh my god. Help. Anything you need me to deal with? None shall whisper. Tear them to pieces. I've had enough. Get lost. Ha! The show begins. One with the sound. What's in here? What? Oh my god, okay. Done. Two more to go. Let's look for them nearby. Yes. One last flare stone to go. Mm hmm.
Oh, she's the one up there. Cool. Oh, there is that everywhere. Sentinel should be able to break free now. Yes. I believe so. Let's head back to the Sentinel's place. Do it. Hey, boss. Do it. It's free. Oh, this is gonna be his arena. Wow. Big dragon. It has been quite some time. And greetings, Lady Arbiter. Or should one address you as Rover now? Lady Arbiter. Hmm. One cannot deserve an interesting title. Your arrival. Yet its significance heralds Jinjo's fateful juncture. Shall a child who has lost their memories take up arms and fight for their fate? Or shall they retreat to their cradle and slumber? The seed of the future shall be sown in this very moment. Do my arbiter. What should I do? Once the situation settles, Okay. An explanation shall be provided. For now, one must implore you to simply engage, decide, and observe. Jinji, your journey has been an arduous one. Aside from aiding one in this predicament, surely there are other inquiries you wish to make. I cannot bring myself to ask for more. All I seek is the truth. Mount Firmament is in grave danger. Regarding the temporal mandate and your injuries, please do not keep the truth from me any longer. One understands your concerns. The timing may not be optimal for this disclosure. Yet, in the midst of crisis, one must act with expedience. Expedience. For one will soon perish. Uh. No, don't die. One, one shall not perish. Of immortal nature is designed to endure for all time. Okay. Yet one suffered severe harm in ancient times, and now relies on the Myanlong Chamber for survival. Interesting. This is not the optimal solution. For a long time, one has had to use this chamber to replenish energy, hoping to delay the inevitable doom. But I can use Jinshi. The Fraxidus have conspired against this one. Now, 
the injury only worsens. The Myanlong Chamber can no longer prolong one's life. If you die, what happened to Jinjo? Jinjo. The city of Jinjo will be no more. <sighs> X. Ever since one descended upon Mount Firmament, using the power of temporal mandate to repel tacit discords, time has been in disarray within this location. The hmm. fate of Jinjo was sealed from that moment on. Nah. Over the past millennia, one has defied the laws of nature and sustained Jinjo at the cost of one's own life force. Otherwise, the temporal disruption would wreak havoc not only on Mount Firmament, but on the entire region of Jinjo. If this were to happen, all life will be engulfed in a chaotic storm of twisted time flow. What happened to them? Jinjo shall forever remain frozen in time. The past and the future melt into one rendering life indistinguishable from death. The ceremonial rituals and endless battles persist, intertwining joy and sorrow into an eternal blur. All inhabitants of Jinjo shall endure this perpetual fate until time itself ceases to exist. It is this one's own doing, and one must put an end to it. Okay. In the coming days, one will exert every ounce of strength to freeze the time in Jinjo at the cost of one's remaining life. In that moment, Jinjo will fall into stillness but not perish. In the distant future, the people of Wanglong may discover a method to rescue Jinjo. Is there truly nothing else we can do? This is not the optimal solution, but it suffices as an option. Please, forgive me. But I cannot do as you say. A decade, a century. What if nobody comes up with a solution? By that time, the world will have turned its back on this forgotten city. Yeah. And who would be willing to spend precious resources rescuing a small city in a far off corner of the world? Jinjo's fate deserves better than an uncertain future. Whilst one may not live to witness the future, one can still envision endless possibilities yet to come. In my deduction, this method proves to be the most effective and stable. Magistrate Jinji, as you express doubts, pray tell how do you propose to solve this issue. The flow of time upon Mount Firmament is in disarray, and it can only be contained through one's utmost effort. If one does not freeze the time now, the situation in Jinjo shall surely worsen a hundredfold, or even a thousandfold, after one's passing. Nah, Jinshu will win. You once predicted a destined battle between us. Is it true? 
Correct. I was lost at first, struggling to grasp the prophecy's meaning. Only when I learned of your actions alongside the court of Savante did it all become clear. By clashing two resonating powers, a second resonance awakening can be induced. Through this, I am able to push my resonance ability beyond its limits and invoke the temporal mandate to restore the flow of time. Though I will be forced to raise my blade against you. Stating fact. Ridiculous! If you clash with my resonance power, even the smallest mistake will result in overclocking and leave you nothing but an empty husk. So we're gonna make a mistake. You are well aware of its excruciating effects. The pain you feel now is but a faint scratch in comparison to its true torment. Moreover, you will be trapped within the fissures of time itself. Your being will be relentlessly shredded and mended day after day, denied any respite for eternity. But I can restore the errors in the flow of time. Isn't that why you saved me all those years ago? I'm just doing what you've been doing all along. Going against fate to keep Jinjo safe. Say, say, <clears throat> say something, come on. Jinji, you are given one last opportunity. Let me freeze the time. And I can ensure your safety. Nah. That's why your rover is here. What if I help her? I'm here for a reason. Say that. Here to witness before the right time arrives. Nah. But you are not compelled to remain idle. Exactly. Should you intervene, we may augment Jinshi's odds of survival by a fraction. Command me. To transfer my temporal mandate access to Jinshi at the right moment. The moment of her resonance. Is that what Abby can do? Instead of us sucking Jew, it's gonna be Jinshi. On the brink of overclocking and near death. Then we may still save her life. Miss that moment by even the slightest margin. And Jinshi's fate will be sealed. I'll do I got Jinshi safe. No one in it. I should have died a long time ago. But I was lucky enough to be saved by you. Allowing me the chance to see the glittering lights of Jinjo for myself. You rewinded time to save me. I am responsible. Jinjo is my home. If it's ever in danger, I will do everything in my power to protect what I hold dear. Even at the cost of my own life. Such a valiant speech. Do you know the weight of this decision? I understand your concerns. I will reach my second awakening with our destined confrontation. And restore the time flow. Are you willing to bet on me? Restore the time flow? Pray, from where does this confidence arise? You are my resonator, but your strength is only a fraction of mine. But the previous conversation should have been in a cutting as well. Shit, imagine. For you to retreat unscathed. But I can at least win some hope for our people. Even if it costs me my soul, my everything. I cannot die without trying. 
I may only bear your power for a fleeting moment. It's all I need to secure a better future for Jinjo, defying all of your predictions, and I can keep you safe. If there is anyone who can face you in a fight, that person has to be your resonator. I will be your final winning move in this game. I don't look like Gigi's like serious voice. Are you truly ready to challenge a being worshipped by your kind? Will you not regret it when you meet your bitter demise? Yeah, yeah, like you're gonna go out against your own child, basically. No matter what. So bad. Very well, magistrate of Genjo. Come to the summit. Demonstrate your prowess. Show me how you shall be my triumphant ace. Ooh. I guess we have to take these grappling hooks. Let's go. Grapple. Grapple. Leave. curious about your choice this time wherever the tides may take us you will bear witness to our cool. fight you yeah, but don't watch this well watch like do the story it's it's of watching this trust it's so good Government must be guided by virtue. Chi, do you keep this yeah. in mind? Yeah. Yes. Virtue must come first. Politics, commerce, it all must serve the people. From now on, you shall be known as Jinshi, bearing Jinjo's name as your own. What do you think of this world? Like. And I'll do it later, then, or maybe tomorrow. Darkness clings, but lights flicker in the gloom. A guiding light must be easily lit. That's why they stand out so brightly against the darkness. All right, Jue. Let's see. Leads to one Sonoro Sphere. Magistrate Jinchi. One shall await you there. Rover. This battle is related to the fate of Jinjo. And only you can open this Sonoro Sphere. The key to Jinjo's future lies in your hands. Okay. If I open it, Jinshi is bound to face you in the ultimate battle. The ideal outcome would be for her to absorb your power at the critical moment and restore the time flow without any loss of life. Why is she repeating what would they? Okay. But there's a chance that she could push herself too far and end up dying from overclocking. I guess like this is like her going through the process of like choosing whether Jinxi should do this or she shouldn't. Though, if I do nothing, you'll use your remaining power to freeze all of Jinjo in time. Correct. Now. Please let us know your choice. Rover. I will open the entrance once you're ready. I have been prepared.
preparing for this moment. I trust you. Leaving Jinjo behind fills me with regret. Knowing I may never again bask in its glorious sunshine or witness the purity of its snowflakes. But that's why I'm here. To ensure that others can still experience the wonders of nature. Our city has a rich history. With generations witnessing endless sunrises and sunsets at the border. Our people have sacrificed their blood and tears to protect Huang Long's safety. They deserve a bright future. I want to yeah. protect Jinjo in my own way. Hey, can I get a teleport though? Jinxi, before we go. As a citizen of Jinjo. And as Jinjo's magistrate. Let's begin. Yes. Okay, it's time to look in. No, let me get a teleporter, man. Allow it. I don't want to climb all the way up here. Oh my god. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I can with relax with like sexual tension, can they? No, the teleporter man, allow that. Okay. Surely it can be this first time. Try, right? Oh. Why is this guy's like a grappling? What am I doing? Just like G hands. Oh, this is D. Oh no, it's not. Look, can you come closer, man? What is happening? No, Jinji. This side. Is she doing it? The. Done the time thing. Oh my god. All right, now you're dead. What is that? I dodged it apparently. Laser beam. Oh, he has like a sword. I see, I guess. Right. Laser beam. I dodged. Nah. Laser beam. Thunder guide us. And 70k damage. 142! Yeah. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, he's gonna do the I don't know what this is. What the impressive beach, Magistrate Chi. 
I'm confused. I've made up my mind, and I will not back down. He once said it's not easy to become a candle of light. What's happening? That's like gameplay. But I still want to try. <laughs> I want to see if I can ignite a spark of hope for Jinjo. Basic attack. Ah! Oh, you need to spam this. What the fuck? Yo! And we chillax with the spamming. Okay. I had to spam left click. That was crazy. Alright, Jew. Give me my second one. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You succeed. What do you say? He is next. Lord Arbiter. <sighs> May this one transfer the temporal mandate to Jinshi. This one has heard your decision. Crazy. And now one for a moment is back. The transfer has been carried out as you instructed. Jinji, one shall honor one's promise and restore Jinjo's future. Oh, he's, he's not like gone. People. I thought it'd be like a thing where he's gone, gone forever. Wow. And that was crazy. I like that. Why am I still hearing like Jinshi fighting dogs in a cave? That's an interesting bug, but yeah. Leave the domain. recovered one will soon send her back to Jinjo for recuperation please do not worry with all matters resolved as per the agreement it is time for one to address you. I doubt everything one is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have Ask about your past. I am it's lore time. The guide of Jinjo's civilization. 
everything about Jinjo That's crazy. has been stored in my mind. You are my arbiter and my former master. Oh. In bygone days, I stood by your side as you established Jinjo oh. City. You tasked me with safeguarding its prosperity. It, I mean, the first. It is we need to find out more about ourselves before we start asking out those type of questions. For it is not all knowing. All my knowledge came from you. Mm. I guess if you asked that other question, it would have said the same thing, because, like. I don't know what happened to me, right? So, let's go the choice and the access. In the past, one was granted the key to that Sonoro sphere by your hand. Okay. You said you plan to participate in history, to make choices and witness the development of civilizations. One had previously requested for permission to transfer the temporal mandate to Jinshi, as that is how one is designed to function. Right. Every ounce of my existence, from life to death, and even the passing on of power, is subject to your approval. Damn. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Well, Jin Since Jin Shi has inherited my power, the temporal programs are now complete. <laughs> Just another day, saving the world. Is no longer under threat. It's that easy. Jin Shi has fully assumed the mantle of leadership. From this day forth, one shall only offer aid when it is truly needed. Why didn't you tell Jinshi about it earlier? This situation has been analyzed before, but the number of variables made reaching a safe conclusion impossible. Okay. To accomplish a goal, Jinshi must possess both strength and confidence. Revealing the truth to her earlier would only add to her troubles and not aid in improving her abilities. Today was not the ideal moment for our destined battle to unfold, but the Fraxidus has remarkably escalated its arrival. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Let's go about current situation, Hong Shen. The flow of time on Mount Firmament has been restored to its natural pace. But the citizens of Hong Zhen must still contend with shortened lifespans should they attempt to depart. Interesting. <clears throat> Fortunately, with Jin Shi's resonance ability, they can stay safe as long as they remain on the mountain. For lack of a better solution, this is the best we can do. Through countless ages, the imposing Mount Firmament stood firm against the storms. But as spring brings thunder and change, one feels a spark of transformation in the air. The people of Hongzhen have a bright future ahead. One that can be steered in the right direction within mere days with proper leadership. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. No other questions. Your tacit mark. There is something unusual. 
Abby, wake up. Hurry up. It smells like the unnatural smell I smelled in Jinjo before. Oh, what is sentinel I was looking for? Oh, so you must be that sentinel. <laughs> Hello there, big one. Big one. Rover, why didn't you wake me up earlier? I got a feeling I missed out on a lot of fun. It does feel similar to me, but there is some difference. Do you know what it is? This entity is unfamiliar to me. As it resides within your tacit mark, one can only assume you granted it access intentionally. Well, let's answer my questions. Lady Arbiter, have you heard of the Black Shores? Yep, I know those people. The Black Shores is the starting point of your journey in this world. If you have doubts, oh, is that what we're going this next? one suggests a visit to that island. Keep that in mind. Worry not. The weathering waves ebb and flow. She, they said that. The two words. That's crazy. The watering waves ebb and flow. God dang. Goodbye, Jue. One suggests heading back to Hongzhen to reunite with your companions, Lady Arbiter. With Mount Firmament no longer posing a threat, surely Hong Jen will undergo significant changes. Hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Oh yeah. Come on, it's become so speed. Oh yeah. Now we're skiing. Oh, you can break those. Lol. That's pretty funny. Well, I see. It, it is kind of janky though, but like it works, you know? Like it's fine. Bonk. Wait, that goes the other way. I saw it was pointing the way that I was supposed to go. Lava larvae. I can't keep going. Shadow descends. Oh yeah, now like all the monsters are out and all that. Hell yeah. Oh, so is Chongli? Chang Chongli? Changli gonna be here? Oh my god. Look at that. Like the synthesizer, she has open up. Nice. And probably the shops and all that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hello, where are my friends? Mount Firmament glowed with the sun's light, high above the clouds and snow. Then, suddenly, they vanished, revealing a distant blue sky. Hold up. And amidst it all, 
stood a white-haired maiden like a goddess descended from the heavens. With a mere wave of her hand, she brought forth a new season, transforming the streets below. This maiden was none other than the dead infant, now reborn as the magistrate of Jinjo. When thunder roars in spring's embrace, the sun shall shine upon this place. So much good art. God damn. For only through death and strife can one truly embrace new life. Oh. Hmm. Who is that? Doesn't matter. That's not important for our goal. My god, British voices. That's insane. We have the answers we wanted already. British. With the second resonance awakening, we will tap into powers that rival the sentinels. Complete control of the artificial resonator awakening process is within reach. But she she kind of sounds like Fushuan, but British. <laughs> and lastly, about that rover. What? This trip was worth it. We've collected many wonderful notes, haven't we? Hmm. It's about time. Get moving. Can't let a certain someone wait too long behind bars. I wonder. Wow. Cool. Well, there you have it. We saved the day once again. This time for Mount Firmament and Jue and Jin Shi. So everyone can live happily after, ever after, I guess. Yeah, that's it. This one was really good. A really good story. I liked it. Um, yeah. Virtually nothing wrong with it, necessarily. Yeah, not really, yeah. Maybe like Jin, He's, Jin Shi's voice at some points, but it was fine, so it doesn't matter. Cool. But yes, that was sick.